This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoToMeeting. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger. This is the show where you could ask me any question you've got from the wide world of technology. Don't know what cell phone to get, don't know what tablet's right for you, don't know which operating system you want to go with. This is a place you can ask. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. So the big news last week was the ousting of Scott Forstall from Apple. That's what our first user, Ibrahim Algami, wants to ask. Hey, John, you think it's a good idea that Scott Forstall is leaving, or do you think he should stay? Well, I don't think he had much of a choice uh, in the matter. For those of you guys that don't know, Scott Forstall was the genius behind iOS. There's a term in business called the innovator's dilemma. Essentially, it's someone who innovates and creates a revolutionary product or idea, uh, suddenly sometimes falls by the wayside as competition catches up. So certainly iOS, when it first launched in 2007, was really revolutionary. Really nothing like that had been seen before. Competition took years to catch up, but eventually they did, and in some ways leapfrogged what Apple has done. And it's been tough for the guy who originally did the innovation to try and innovate again, reinvent again. I think that's what Scott Forstall fell victim of, and iOS became a little bit on the stale side. So the big issue that we were hearing was that he refused to sign an apology letter that went out saying, hey, sorry about maps. So I think it's gonna be a good thing for Apple? Yes, I think it's gonna be a great thing. Fresh blood, fresh set of eyes looking at iOS is only going to help. You should be excited about anything. Don't be excited about next generation hardware. Be most excited about what iOS 7 is going to bring. I'm very excited. If you're a fan of Apple or just a fan of the industry, you too should also be really excited. One of the big announcements last week was the Nexus 4. Next question is all about that and it comes from Noah. Hey John, do you think the Nexus 4 will be better than the Galaxy S3? The Nexus 4 brings a lot of goodness to it. It brings the next iteration of Jelly Bean. All kinds of cool camera tweaks in there. You've got quad core, you've got a new size phone, and all kinds of other nice design uh, elements that LG has put into the phone. But there are a few emissions that I really don't think I can look past. First, no LTE. Google's gone on the record and said we couldn't put LTE because it's so fragmented with different countries. You wanted to make really one phone that could be used almost everywhere. And the second is no expandable storage. So I understand that they want to start this at a very low price point, and that's fine. A lot of people are going to buy it and going to absolutely love it. But when you're comparing the Nexus 4 and the Galaxy S3, I want LTE. And I want to be able to pop in a micro SD card. I've got a 16 gig right now in my Galaxy S3 and I love it. It expands my storage. The downside though, you're not going to get the software updates that you're going to get with the Nexus device. Who knows when the Galaxy S3 is going to get the new version of Jelly Bean? Who knows when it's going to get the next operating system that comes out from Google? Certainly the Nexus 4 will, uh, but for a phone right now to carry in my pocket, I gotta go with the Galaxy S3. And I apologize in advance for massacring your name. User Shayir Rafi wants to know, hey John, what are your education credentials? What degrees or diplomas do you have and from where? Great question. Uh, I'm from Southern California. I got my undergraduate degree at the University of Rochester and I majored in religion and classics, which essentially means I was prepared for nothing in the world. Why religion and classics? Uh, I took a couple classes that I really loved it and I started taking more and before I knew it, I was only three classes away from a major. I've always been fascinated by what motivates people and in my mind there's never been a greater motivator in history uh, than religion. So getting a chance to study the world religions uh, and what people believe has given me a better perspective on the world. I went back to school uh, for graduate school and I got a master's degree in business administration, commonly called an MBA. I did that while I was starting Techno Buffalo, while I was working at a previous job in a marketing department uh, and then of course during Techno Buffalo. Uh, it took three years. Uh, I did it at night and I got it from the University of California uh, at Irvine. And it was great. It was a wonderful experience. It's actually where I met our managing editor, Roy Choi. He uh, graduated with me. I was a friend and now a colleague. Uh, so if you guys are wondering what class you should take to be a consumer electronics journalist or any kind of journalist uh, at all, it doesn't really matter what your major is, but take something that does a lot of writing, really writing intensive. Uh, it's going to give you the best experience. Uh, for the world of technology or just the fast paced world of blogging. So hopefully that helped answer your question. That is awesome stuff, JR, but I'm gonna take some time to thank our wonderful friends at GoToMeeting. When meeting in person, we express so much of ourselves through a nod of agreement or a raise of an eyebrow. These simple gestures help us communicate so much more effectively and help us get things done. But if your team is like Techno Buffalo and spread out in different locations, building that connection can be difficult. That is why I recommend GoToMeeting with HD faces. You can meet face to face with colleagues 
colleagues and clients, no matter where you are. GoToMeeting takes simple online meetings a big step forward with the highest quality HD video conferencing. Build trust, stay focused, and turn your business ideas into actions. With one click, you can share your screen to work with others on the same document. It's easy to launch or join a meeting from anywhere using your computer, phone, or tablet. And now you can even present from your iPad. Using services like GoToMeeting is important for us at Techno Buffalo because it helps us collaborate and share ideas and, you know, we can hang out and chat and whatnot. Try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. Don't wait. For this special offer, visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button and use the promo code TECHNO. Again, be sure to use the promo code TECHNO. Back to you, JR. User Jasma asks, Salutations, John. Do you think I should go with the Samsung Ativ S or the Nexus 4? I want to switch to Windows Phone 8, but I don't think it's a good idea due to less app options. Would you get Windows Phone 8? Well, I'm glad you asked that. I am actually using right now as my daily driver this guy, the HTC 8X, which is running, of course, Windows Phone 8. And I absolutely love it. Now, on the app side. There's some questions with the apps. The main apps that I use, you know, the big four, as far as I'm concerned, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Foursquare, all here. Some smaller apps, though, that you might be important, some things that I've been missing, uh, for example, Dropbox or SugarSync, two apps that I use quite a bit, aren't there yet. There really aren't third-party options that are up to snuff. The app selection is growing at Windows Phone 8, and I think that as more people use it, it's going to get even better. But as far as deciding between the Nexus or the Windows Phone 8, you're getting two great devices. For me, testing so many phones, I like that Windows Phone 8 is different. It's something new. I haven't seen many Windows phones out recently. You don't see them come out as quickly as Android devices. So it's fun to try something new. If I had to pick one to use on a daily basis, I'd say go check out the apps for Windows Phone 8. If your apps are there, use Windows Phone 8. You will absolutely love it and adore it. If the apps that you want aren't there, surely a Nexus is gonna be a great way to go for you as well. So hopefully that helps answer your question. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger. Be sure to check us out every week with a brand new Ask the Buffalo. And of course, check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I'm John Rettinger, I'll see you next video.